Hello everyone. If you don't know, I am Morgan and I'm from the React Pack and I'm going to be finishing up a Death Note today. I'll do a quick recap. So in this last episode, Mello had kidnapped Kiyomi. He was driving like this truck and he had Kiyomi in the back and Kiyomi still had pages from the Death Note that Light had given her. And so she used it on Mello who crashed into a church and she called Light and she was like, they didn't say it out loud, but like Light knew what was going on. He knew that she used the Death Note. So Light and his team start to travel where the car crashes. Very conveniently, Light is in the back seat of the car. So he was able to use his Death Note and write Kiyomi's name in there, ruling it suicide by fire, which burned up her Death Note and left no evidence at all. So that was, you know, a very frustrating feat that we again see from Light. Earlier in the episode two, Nier and Light were discussing a meetup. Nier had picked this abandoned warehouse where he's going to be meeting up with Light and his team. All the members of the SPK are also going to be there. Nier has requested to bring the Death Note with them and they're going to have a meetup. So this is the final, I guess, test or challenge in which we're going to see if Light wins again against someone else who definitely suspects him as Kira or Light is going to take out Nier. So it's going to be a battle of the wits again and the ultimate showdown because this is the final two episodes. So who's dying? I don't know. I feel like it's either Light or it's Nier or it's everyone. I don't know. I really, I've been thinking about these final episodes, trying to make maybe a prediction, maybe what the best outcome would be, would probably be obviously the Kira being no more and Light not having this power. It's just gotten so out of hand. You know, at first he was like trying to do the right thing, but it has morphed into something that is just outrageous, like cult-like almost. So yeah, I don't know. Everyone could die or... I mean, I like Nier, obviously. It's hard for me to have kind of like a deep attachment to Nier and also to Mello. Even though they were really cool characters, I did enjoy seeing them. But it is hard to have that deep attachment to them like I had that attachment to L. I just felt like I was able to get to know L more and spend more time with him. You know, he was like one of my favorite characters. So it's like when your dog dies and you immediately get a new puppy. Like, you can't, I don't feel this like attachment towards them yet. I mean, obviously I still love them, but it's not the same attachment that I have to L, if that makes sense. Putting it in those terms, I guess. There's been a lot of deaths in this show, I kind of expected because it's called Death Note, so. But I don't know. Elle's death was just very surprising to me and very hurtful. And the dad's death was also very hurtful. And I'm just tired of it. And I want Light to just pay for his actions. But there's a part of me that feels like I'm not going to get that. There's a part of me that feels like the ending to the show, I don't know. It, it's going to leave me, I don't know, I'm scared. Like, are they going to throw me for another loop? Am I going to get a happy ending? I don't think so, but I guess I'm being a pessimist for the ending. I've been like, every time there's some kind of feat, it's always like Light coming up with another plan, but we're not sure of Nier's intentions at the abandoned warehouse. Yeah, L is my favorite character. I just think he was just so cool. Like, he was just like interesting. He was funny. He was smart. It's a whole different show without him. It's crazy more stressed and entertained by light that's so true he causes a lot of stress at first you know i was re-watching some of the first episodes and i'm like wow he's really smart he's really interesting and then i'm just like watching again i'm like oh i hate him whatever i mean you live learn i feel like throughout the episodes i was like oh oh this is getting this is getting worse but at first i was like wow he's really smart oh my god he's so interesting like, oh, like kill this dad it's just exhausting. I want a win. Can we get a win? I'm always hoping for the happy ending. Even when we like watch Finland, I was like, I'm going to get a happy ending. I know it. So I'm kind of hopeful, but at the same time, I am being a pessimist. I'm trying not to get my feelings hurt, I guess. I'm trying not to get too excited because I feel like I'm going to get my feelings hurt. Let's get this thing started. Let's get this thing thing in. Season finale.
36. Make sure to check us out on YouTube for full uncut reactions and early access. Ring that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. And check out our merch store at thereacttech.com. We have hats, hoodies, shirts. Dude, this is going to be one of the last times we see this. Maybe nobody gets the death note in the end. Oh yeah, thanks for doing exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to kill you. ただ気温。2013年1月26日午後2時35分。自分の身の回りのもの書いたものを燃やし。昇進自殺。ま、ことに残念ながら現場から発見された死体のうち1体が炎上崩壊した教会の中には2トントラックと。Rather convenient. キラ様の声を世間に聞いて。なくなられた。ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア、ヘア
しかし僕は納得いかないな誰をキラと疑おうと勝手だがあの面は自分だけ助かろうという気持ちの表れじゃないか念のためでここにいる私以外の全員はキラに顔を見られている可能性がありますすでに名前を書き込まれているかもしれないいや30分誰も操られて死なないか様子を見させていただきたい僕らが死なないか待ちかよいやライト君がキラならないとは言えない特に我々はもう不要な存在いや Is he gonna do it? He's gonna do it Is he? I have so much anxiety right now What the fuck? They're face to face Come on. I'm just gonna stand there for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit there for 30 minutes. Oh, glue. Another mask. Mada Nanika or Matti, you know, what does she want? Matti, Sibeto took more story of Kurin. Sibeto took more story, more sunny kimas. Soreo, Kono Tatemono and Nishi, Sokono Doa, Akirukoto, the Skanaka, and Nino. Darega Kuru to Yunda. Oh, ゲンザイキアに変わって裁きをして、エックス機ノートを持って必ず来ます。そして私の顔を見て名前を書き入れ、ここにいるノートの存在を知る者すべてを殺そうとするでしょう。あのドアからそのものが入ってきたら、その
Please, please tell me Nier thought of this. Please, 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 please. Nier, Nier knew he was going to do that. ただ、ニア。お前にも勝つチャンスはあった。ああ、カモン、there's そうにいるもの。おお。ノートに名前を書いたんですか。はい、書きました。Oh my god, he's What's happening? Oh my Has it been 40 anime seconds yet? I'm not sure. Oh shit. Ah, gonna free my pants! <laughs> Please! They're not gonna die. Okay, that's my theory. They're not gonna die. They're not gonna die. Catching him, he comes up with something else. So he took all of the pages out of the Death Note and replaced them with fake pages. But Light knew they were fake pages because he was inspecting them. So he has the real pages, or does he not have the real pages? I'm bamboozled, but I'm holding out hope that near. <laughs> it's like such a big game of cat and mouse. So near was looking in the notebook, but maybe he knew that Light knew that he was looking in the notebook. And now Light just called himself out by saying, I win. I hope they don't die. That would be so epic if he if they didn't die and he's just left there wanting to like laugh and say that he won and he just fucking embarrasses himself and they're like, okay, what the fuck? He should have been silent. Yeah, he said I won so quickly, bro. I mean, he's he loves this shit, right? He loves like the thrill of it and like I just think he's kind of gotten ahead of himself this time I think that he should have thought more about Nier I feel like he was like oh you're dumb you should have done this but you're stupid so I don't know he's not giving Nier enough credit for sure dude it was a lot of anxiety that felt like two minutes like that whole episode felt like two minutes <laughs> literally meeting in the warehouse and just like all the anxiety of them like fucking staring at each other for 30 minutes Oh, uh, yeah, he gets way too excited. Look at him trying not to laugh. Like, he's sitting there like, oh, I can't laugh yet. It hasn't happened. I'm going to give myself away. What a little goob. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? They're not going to die. He's going to look like a fucking idiot. I think. I just want one win. Can I get one? It's my final episode. I need a win. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to smack that grin off his face. I just want to see a moment where he eats his word. Honestly, I'm so tired. I'm tired of him winning. Like, I was like, okay, Nier figured it out. He replaced the pages. Like, he's been looking at this guy. But Light was already a step ahead of him, saying that he knows that he's being watched. He's not even the guy that's been writing in the Death Note. It's just crazy how he, he thinks of, like, literally everything. 
hands. Yeah, he shoves it in their face. It's like a game, but he's playing with people's lives. Like, it's crazy, like, that he thinks this way. Like, it's just, it's disturbing. It makes my skin crawl. And, like, when it went to that shot of, like, his face, like, him getting ready. Oh, God. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, I'm I'm just hoping, I don't know, Nier seemed a little too calm for me. That I'm like, he probably already thought of this, maybe. And, you know, for a second, <laughs> when he said someone was going to walk in the door, I don't know why I was, like, in my head, I was hoping it was L. But I know that's not going to happen. But in my mind, I'm like, please. That would be, like, the ultimate fucking twist in the story if they're like, oh, you never killed L. He's still here. My hopes and dreams. <laughs> That would be crazy, but I actually love that. Or he never died. I was in denial when Elle died. I just, like, over time, knowing light now, I'm done. <laughs> I'm ready for him to move on. But he's not going to be able to go to heaven or hell, so is he going to be, like, is the final episode going to be, like, him becoming, like, a Shinigami and then passing on the death note to someone else and then still continuing this Kira nightmare? That would be crazy. Crazy! And where's Ryuk? Where's my boy? What the heck? Is he okay? Are they feeding him? Who's babysitting? We're about to watch the next episode. The final episode. Season finale. This is the last one. I don't know if I'm ready. Hope my feelings don't get hurt. Alright. I hope I cry. Episode 37. Final episode. Crazy, crazy. Guys, I'm nervous. What a episode. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to cry. I already want to cry. This is our last opening. This is the last ever time we're ever going to see this opening ever. <sighs> okay. Come on. We're rooting for you, Nier. We're rooting for you. Yukami is a little too excited to be writing them names in there like that. No. No. All right, bring me back. I want to see. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No fucking way, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. 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 ここにいて唯一名前がないのよ。嫌がるに来い。ああ、そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。そ
私は負けていました私たちはまんまとあなたの思惑に流行り偽のノートに細工しましたしかし私が最初にここで細工をしたと言ったのは本物のノートに対してもだったが偽の方は一部分でしたが本物の方は全てをすり替えましたこれが本物のノートですバカだ三上の使ったペンと同じペンワイツ完璧に真似し外見中身ともそっくりジェバンニが一晩でやってくれましたワーシングルナイトホリシェイトダッツキルダイアンワッティタカラワタシニワシニガミガミエティオーデリエスウォシニガミガミガミガミガミガミガはじめましてリュークですとリュークと会話ができるというのも本当ということにこのノートページの端がちょっと切れてるんですがこの切り離した部分に名前を書いても死にますかああ死ぬなそれでどれだけ殺し我々は欺いてきたのかおまいガイドゥーッワッタガミライトあなたはキラですメロのお金です Mello, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh no! Oh, Goddamn! Oh, Yikes! Wow, Mellow! He sacrificed himself. That's sad. What a shimo melon. Story de la mochio no eru of us. Oh no, Tarina Ayru in Arabel. Ah, Ayru of Cotter. So she came out as that. Eruga Yabreta Kia, Cactar Shoko. Yeah, get his get his revenge for L. Don't let him die in vain. You know, I read a little. You know, I read a little. You killed L. Bitch. Tell everyone. Look at him. Oh my god. He's like. Ugh. Oh my god. He's totally different. His demeanor's def totally changed. He you knows he's lost. Yeah, that is such a crazy laugh. Shit. Whoa! Oh, he got caught, but what's gonna happen now? I'm still scared because he has it in his watch. Scared. Oh, nothingness. So that. Arrest him! Arrest him! I don't know. Yeah. Boku wa kira. Soshite. Shin sekai no kami da. Mohaya boku wa seibu. Sekai no kami da no kibo. Kira ga araware roku no. Sensei wa nakunari. Sekai no hanzai wa nanawari genshou shita. Shikashi, mada yo no naka wa kusatte iru. Kusatte ningen ga ou sugi te areka ga yara nakereba nara nai. No. Noto tenis at the Kyomota. Boka Yarishkanai. Scash most or a discatanai. Koleva. Boka Yatira is a sime. Boka Yarishkanai. So look at how many people you killed around you that didn't need to die for yours, for you. Boka Shkaina. Ye Anata, Tadano, Hitomoroshi. 
そしてこのノートは史上最悪の殺人兵器ですあなたは死神やノートの力には神になろうなどと勘違いしているクレイジーな殺人犯です、exactly. ただそれだけに He thinks of himself too much as a god, and it's just not right. What's he gonna do now? Ah, fuck, it's still on his watch, isn't it? He's not gonna be able to write everyone's name down on that little piece of paper. Or is he? Did he already write them down? Yeah. どうせキラーを倒すなら、相沢の持つノートを試すでいいのでね。僕や三上の名前をそこへ書き込むべきだ。What? ノートが本物か。No! No! 偽物か。Oh shit! Oh my god! That's crazy. He's still trying to write the name down when he's fucking dying. Oh, oh don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit. You mean the people that you betrayed? Used? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why is. What's happening? What? How is he still walking? He's running! He's running! <laughs> あの傷ではどうせ遠くへも行けない。あ<笑>あ。ああ。Where are you going? Damn. If only you didn't pick up the death note. Oh, you didn't pick it up. Oh my god. Just like what he would have been like? Oh, wow. The other path in life he could have chosen. Wow. Oh, what, Ryuk? What does Ryuk do now? They have his notebook. Oh. ノートを人間界に持ち込んだ死神と、oh. そのノートを最初に手にした人間との間にできる掟だ牢獄に入れられたんじゃいつ死ぬかわからない
true. So is Ryuk gonna die too then? Oh. Wait, does Ryuk die? Oh god damn. I feel like he's sad about it. Wow. Oh shit. That was that was really heavy. Wonder what Misa's gonna think about this. Wow. Whew. What a oh. What is she doing? What is she doing? Ow! Oh god! Okay, he's still... I don't know why I thought Ryuk would die. This is gonna continue the cycle. Why was she standing on that building, though? Wow. Okay! Did she jump? Did she? I didn't show it. That, wow, that ending was so chaotic, but honestly, beautiful at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like that's how things were supposed to happen. So, I mean, it, everything was chaotic, but like the ending part of him like running away, trying to run away, and then kind of seeing this version of himself that maybe he could have been if he never found the notebook was kind of made me really sad because he he could have turned out different if he picked like a different path in life it could have been totally different and it's just like really sad but that is the way it had to go and that end scene was just really beautifully done you know his colleagues still chase after him even after knowing that he was Kira and how many people he's killed and you know I don't know that's that was a hard ending. You know, I, I was hoping for that justice in a way of like light dying. But at the same time, I feel very sad still. That's a weird, weird, weird feeling. But also in those final chaotic moments, like that was probably the first time. I mean, first and only time that we see light lose control. Like he is just fucking lost it. He is pulling out everything that he possibly can to try to get out. I mean, like, he was trying to write it in blood. Like, that's insane. That's insane. He didn't give it up until the... He didn't even give it up until the, like, the final moment. But yeah, I mean, that's the path that he chose for himself, and it is, like, unfortunate. And I think everything that happened, like, in this end needs to happen that way. But Mikami killing himself, that was brutal. That was, like, just really shocking. I mean, and... Knowing that Mikami was doing these actions to try to, like, help Light, but ended up kind of, I mean, essentially just blowing their whole cover. It's just like, oh, the pressure he must have felt on himself to, like, have ruined this plan after Nier explained it. It's just also so tragic. <sighs> what a tragic ending. <laughs> but still, I mean, this is what we all hope for. So I wanted this ending where he was finally caught, like, this whole season I've been, like, you know, you catch him, like, he's gotta go and stuff. And it's just, like, so crazy. I don't know. It's just, like, a mixed feeling, I guess. But I'm glad that it played out, like, the way that it did, for sure. Yeah, definitely a happy ending. It was just, like, he could have been not that. But I don't see any other kind of, like, happy ending than him dying. I'm kind of upset that Misa was on top of that building like that. But she also killed a lot of people. I don't know. A lot of mixed feelings, I guess. I liked how beautifully done the ending was, too, though. Just, like, the different scenes and, like, him still fucking running. Even though, like, it's over. Like, you're caught. You're done. You literally said, like, oh, I got you. Like, who's... Why would anyone believe you? <sighs> I mean, Misa... I know that she also killed people, but I didn't really want to see her, like, kill herself. I feel like she should, like, pay for her mistakes that she made, if anything. It did kind of seem like, too, that Ryuk was, like, upset. It made him seem like that he was sad to raid the name. Like, he lost his playmate. Overall, from 1 to 10, how much would you give Death Note? 
I really enjoyed it. Mm, I'd probably give it like a 8.7. I think it's a fair. I wanted more L content. I wish they had kept him around longer. But I did like the overall ending where they avenged him, especially Mello, how he like risked his life. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to die. But he did it anyways because at least they're all working together in order to avenge L rather than working apart and making it like a competition. I was hoping for some redemption with Misa. I was hoping because they like showed some scenes where she almost could be like this moment of like, oh, what the fuck? Like this guy is like she could have had a, a different kind of moment of like realization of like he's a bad guy, he's using me and like all this, but like that never came. I think I was like holding out for her a little bit. Like I feel like there was moments where I thought that she would. Like there was like a couple scenes where she felt like uneasy or like he got aggressive and it looked like that she was like questioning it. So I definitely like held out a little bit longer for her, but they just kind of like showed her as this kind of brat and like also everyone called her like stupid and stuff, which made me want to kind of stick up for her in a sense, but I don't know. There wasn't really no redemption from her. I mean, Light made this whole Kira community that these people were basically treating him like a god, which is a very like cult-like mentality that he put a lot of other people in as well. Shit, I mean, even Kiyomi was like the same way. She would have done anything for Light as well. She killed people and stuff for him as well. That's what it is. I mean... As long as I got the ending that I've been hoping for, which Light and his awfully, awfully dramatic death, then I thought it was a good ending. Would you have been happier if Light paid for his crimes of going to prison instead of dying? Honestly, yeah, I thought they were going to arrest him. Like, I think it's, like, worse for people to, like, sit in jail, right? They have to just sit with themselves for the rest of their lives instead of, I mean, some people would say dying is taking the easy way out if you think of it as, like, a punishment kind of deal. He was going to die anyways, though, because of Ryuk's deal. But I'm I'm sure they just intended to just arrest him, honestly. Like, I'm sure they did not. I mean, he looked so sad to shoot him. Like, he did not want to do that. So I probably thought that he was just going to be arrested and just kill himself. But So he finally mentioned in those, like, final moments about his father. But he didn't. He mentioned his, like, full name. He kind He had no, like, respect for his father and, like, just said that if you do things like that with those people, like you'll end up the way he did. So I, he had no regards for his own father, which was really disappointing. There was no growth from Light's character at all, even until the very end. I mean, he wanted to kill his own sister. He was willing to kill his own sister and he didn't give a fuck when he fa- when his father died. Still, like even in his death, he was trying to write down names. When his father was dying, he was trying to write down names. Like he was a monster until the very end. And I don't know. <laughs> Good riddance, I guess. It's unfortunate that, you know, these people in his life that actually really care about him, like, his father loved him. Like, he always, like, even when people were suspecting him, like, he was always by by his side, like, always sticking up for him. And then just to know that, like, Light didn't give a fuck is just sad. Like, I just feel sad for, like, his family. He looked like a nice family. Like, his, his dad seemed like a pretty good guy. In the last... The card that shows in the middle, it said that I was always thinking that he was going to be like a Shinigami or he was just going to be in the kind of in the middle of like heaven or hell because they can't go to heaven and hell, but they just sit in nothingness. That's so like frightening, but that's where he can stay. Nothingness is going to drive him like insane. What's he going to do to keep himself occupied? Like that is the scariest place I think I can think of going. It's just a place of like nothing. That is terrifying. Wow, we finished Death Note. But yeah, that is all for now. I really loved watching Death Note with all of you guys, and I'm happy that we got to finish it together. And thank you guys all for coming and being a part of this. Thanks, guys.